At Wild is Life, Roxy is tending to the other rescue animals that currently live with Moyo at the centre. This is little Sky. I think she's about three weeks old, little giraffe. They're very susceptible to stomach ulcers if the milk formula is too harsh. She was having a big problem with that. But we seem to have got her right, and she's quite a happy little giraffe now. She'll soon be ready to return home, but some of these sick or abandoned animals have had to become long-term residents, and Roxy's husband, Craig, has a soft spot for one in particular. Noodle, this is my favorite animal. Her name is Noodle. Uh, she's a wildebeest. She came to us as a very young animal, about six months old. She'd been orphaned, and she was with some people who were leaving the country, so they asked her to look after her. Um, when she came, her horns had just started growing, and they were straight, and it was bizarre to think that her horns are gonna end up bending like this, because for the first, like, yeah, they just grow straight. She's got a very strange nostril. She, if we can keep her still for a moment. You see, her nostril can almost close, but when they're running with a lot of dust around, they can keep the dust out of their, out of their air passage. But there's one long-term resident that really keeps everyone on their toes. Pickles is getting a tummy scratched. She loves it. Yeah, pickles, 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 come on. Come on, Pickles. I've gotten over worrying about the furniture. I, I really can't get, uh, you know, neurotic. We've been through about 15, so... Pickles? No, come on, Pickles, that's not nice. Come on, be nice, be nice. Pickles came to Roxy as an injured orphan, and with no other warthogs to be with, she became part of the family. She's only a year old, so um, she's still got a bit of growing to do, which worries me, actually, because she's already quite big. But she is a little toddler, and she's, she's very playful. Good girl. Be nice. Yeah. Good girl. These animal survivors have found sanctuary here. We just try and do Little by little, we try and save animals one by one. If we can all just do a little bit, hopefully lots of little bits make a big difference.